family of a five-year-old who was police say was killed by his father is calling for justice and sharing their memories of that little boy. His father, Amir Hines, was back in court this afternoon. CBS 17's Maggie Newland is live at the courthouse with that. Rod and Angela, this is the second day in a row that Hines has been in court on this case. Yesterday, he was here on a child abuse charge. Today, he was here on a murder charge. Wrapped in her grandson's favorite blanket, Tiffany Holloway watches videos of the moments they shared. He was swimming in the pool. It's hard to believe five-year-old Carter won't show off his swimming skills this summer, won't open the Christmas presents still waiting for him under the tree. I never thought about him leaving this earth before me. And I definitely never thought about him being taken away from us the way that he was. Tiffany says Carter was spending the holidays with his father, Amir Hines, when police say Hines assaulted the little boy. Carter was taken to the hospital with severe injuries on New Year's Eve. He died the next day. I never left his side once they allowed us in the room with him. Monday evening when he left, he was in my arms. Now his family searches for comfort in memories of a little boy who loved dinosaurs and superheroes, whose autism made it difficult to form sentences, but who could always express care and affection. I've been trying not to cry because Carter doesn't like you to cry. He'll try to make you smile with his hands if you're crying. Every time I get sad, I just think about him. And if we're talking about Carter, I get a peace over me. But when we talk about the circumstances that I don't have Carter here with me now, then I become emotional because I'll never understand that. But she is grateful for the community's support as this case moves forward and this family moves forward without their little boy. Pray for peace and we got a long road ahead of us. And Hines is scheduled to be back here in court later this month. In Raleigh, Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. My heart just breaks for that yeah. entire family. Maggie, thank you for sharing that.